Howdy tubers, welcome back to the Zach Life. So in the previous video, we built the cabinet frames, put up a couple of pieces of trim, and painted all that white. Now at this point, I've gotten the rest of the one bys that go around the room up. They're not all painted, and these are not back here. That's just a white primer. So I'm gonna get all that primed, get that painted. We're gonna work on putting the uh, three quarter inch cove up against these one bys. I think it'll look really cool. We'll do a few pieces of it, and there's no use in you watching me do all of it. We'll do a few pieces of it, and then uh, and then I'll finish that. When we come back, I uh, I need to do the hardwood floors. We got to get the floors in so I can get the baseboards down, um, the uprights of the trim. <clears throat> Basically, going to try to finish this thing out as far as a room goes. There's a lot to do in this video, and I'll probably uh, it probably be heavily edited because I'm going to get as much information crammed into this. I say it like it's an educational video, much as much information. I'll try to get as much done in this video as I can do it, so let's get after it. <laughs> Anyway, you get my idea. I'm gonna go do the other side, prime this trim, get it painted, and then we'll catch you back here probably tomorrow when I get all that done. So quickly, here's my game of attack. Here's what's left. So I like one coat of white paint. I want to get that done here shortly. I've got to touch up all these walls. This wall behind me, I'm probably going to repaint because I got so much of the paint from the trim on the wall. Uh, the ceiling still look good. There's just a few places to touch up as with that wall over there. When I get that done, this, this box spring thing, what do you call this, is cover. I'm going to paint it all the same color as the walls just to have something on it. Just one quick, nasty, heavy coat. So I got everything painted. The painting's done. It looks really good. There's a couple of small little places that need touched up, but I think I'll do that probably when the whole coach is completely finished. The next thing I'm going to do is install a wood, um, like, a, like a white hardwood. It goes along the back side of the bed right underneath the windows, up, up in the front here too. To work sort of like a headboard, it's going to have a piece of trim around it. And my idea was is so when you get in there, if you jump in the bed with your shoes on or you kick the wall or something, you won't, you know, if you if you was to kick the, the white wall, it would be easy to scratch it. But the kind of distressed hardwood, it wouldn't shorten there as well. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole where the, where the window is and plunge my router in and then go down there and mark the bottom of the piece of pipe that the window will sit against so that I can measure off that because I want the, uh, the hardwood basically to be as tall as it can be without interfering with the window. <clears throat> so here's the floor that I'm gonna use. It um, sort of snaps together. Ah. It's a, what do they call these, a laminate? Nothing special, nothing nice, nothing expensive, but I think it'll look good.
So the next thing I need to do is build a trim and put it in that uh, hardwood floor that goes around the bed. So we've got, uh, these, are, these are poplar boards. These are actually pine. It won't matter because we're going to paint it white anyway. You won't be able to tell. But uh, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to build a piece of trim like that. Now, we're doing this on a table saw. I've got a router table, and if you've got a router table, you can come up with a router bit and make any kind of trim you want. But this is a cheap Ryobi, I don't know, $150, $200 table saw. It may not even be that high, I don't remember. And uh, I just want to show you how easy it is to make a piece of trim that you couldn't find, and if you could, it'd probably want three bucks a foot for it. All right, so what we're going to try to do here is we basically just want to cut a notch out to have this piece fit inside him. We're basically going to cut out a section that looks something like that. Very simple. Two cuts. We'll have one cut vertically and one cut horizontally. Now the critical cut is not not the height of this groove so to speak as long as you've got enough material left to sit against the wall. But what is critical is the width of this cut because if this cut is too deep the board will sit crooked on the wall or if it's too shallow the the hardwood will keep it pushed away you want it just right just so it'll sit uh, just sit flush now just so happens this hardwood floor is three eighths of an inch thick and this is a one by which is three quarters of an inch thick so we've just got to cut this board in half uh, that's not by design that's just by uh, by luck or what have you now on our first cut, we want to set the uh, set the table saw to roughly about an inch. And as I said, this isn't even critical enough to measure. I'm just simply going to eyeball that that's about, you know, this is an inch and a half wide board. That's about two thirds of an inch up. The kerf of this blade measures 95 thousandths. Typically a blade will cut a little bit wider than they're actually uh, the actual measured width. So if you wanted to do the math, you could do 3 8 minus 95 thousandths and set your fence. But uh, in all reality, we need to just set it up to something roughly what we think it needs to be. Run a piece of scrap down it and see how it comes out. <clears throat> All right, here's just a regular tube before. I'm going to run this down and see what it looks like. All right, so we made a cut. When you're checking kerf like this, often you can just take a hammer and split that board. Pull that material away and you don't actually have to flip your saw over and, and cut this loose. The way I'm going to do this is just simply to lay this up here and hold it, fill it with your hands. You probably won't be able to see this. Uh, it's a little bit shallow. The board's just sticking up, just proud of here, just a little bit. However, it's probably close enough. So I'm going to move my fence. It's set right on a quarter. I'm going to move it out about a sixteenth. Let's flip this over and try it again. That feels great. The uh, the two edges of these are smooth as glass. Okay, we got one cut left. Now this cut is not ultra critical. I mean, it needs to be in reasonably the right place, but it's not a critical measurement. Uh, the only critical measurement in this whole thing basically was how far away the fence was from the blade. You know, it was basically, you know, the only critical measurement is, is this right here. So what we'll do is we'll cut it from the side. We'll, we will set the fence to 
roughly about seven eighths of an inch uh, plus an eighth of an inch saw blade will put us right up there at an inch and then the height of it needs to be uh, between almost a quarter and three eighths all right so we'll set the uh, fence at about an inch and set the blade depth at about an eighth and I think that's pretty close let's just cut it and see what happens Just like that. So I know I'm off camera here. I'm fixing to, uh, the next thing I want to do is put the floor in. Uh, I took, uh, I can't hardly breathe, it's dusting here, but I took my DA sander with 100 grit paper and went all over the floor to knock the chunks of drywall mud and the big, and the big blobs of paint that I dropped to smooth it out. And then the joints I went over, you know, to, to make the uh, subfloor as smooth as possible. Uh, this is the flooring I'm putting in it. I'm gonna do it next before the baseboards. Uh, this is actually a vinyl floor. This is nothing nice, nothing high-end, nothing expensive. Um, it's like two bucks a square foot or something like that. It's pretty cheap. Uh, it's really thin too and it's lightweight. Um, and it just, it just sort of, it doesn't snap together, but, but when, you, when you lay it out flat, it sort of pulls itself together where there's no gaps. I have table sawed this lip off the back piece so it'll set up flush against the wall. I'm gonna run baseboard all the way around this so I've got three quarters of an inch of play to to, uh, to deal with, but uh, might as well start it as close as we can get it. Got the floor done. Um, the next thing is, is the baseboard trim, and it's just going to be uh, poplar one by threes. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll do the same thing. I'll just time lapse you till my camera dies, which isn't going to be very long. We're going to start right here. I'm going to try to get uh, about half of it done, and then I'm going to take and paint them all. I haven't painted the trim yet that goes around the, the bed thing. And I'm gonna start getting those painted so I'll have about two thirds of the trim done and I can put it up and then, and then cut the rest of the trim and paint it the next step. You know, when you hear the sand, you measure twice and cut once. I'm becoming quite a fan of this whole just don't measure and cut twice and you save a step.
This inside corner here is not a 90, and so I put this in my table saw and sort of oblonged it. I cut the edge off this side. I think it worked pretty, pretty slick. It's got some buildup and caulk in the top corner in the corners. So I'm going to take my plane. And just knock that uh, sharp edge off of it there. All right, I guess that's it. I'll paint you around here. You can kind of have a look. You got these these two pieces up uh, put up there. They look pretty nice. These are actually like PVC or something. They're not they're not real wood. They're actually unpainted. I kind of like them. You can't scratch them. Anyway, they come out pretty nice. I'm really uh, really pleased with it. So I guess I'll have two more videos back here. One will be putting the uh, building the cabinet doors. We'll put those on, and then I got to paint the uh, the actual door. I think they're all going to be the same color. I'm thinking about painting them a little bit, uh, just like the walls, but a little bit darker. I'm not sure how well that'll, that'll, how the good that'll look. We'll decide when we get there. But anyway, we'll have a video of building the doors, and then the, actually the next video will be putting the windows in. I'm fixing to start that as we speak but it'll be on the next video anyway appreciate you watching catch you next time